Now let's take a look at our image with text section, which is a really popular section and allows you to display an image and a title with some description. So let's go ahead back inside of our code and inside of the sections folder, let's create a new file and we'll call this image with text dot liquid. And we can start off by creating a div with the class name image with text as well as section. And then inside of here, we can create an image tag. And then inside of the image tag, let's output our image. We'll say section.settings.image. So we'll need to create a setting for the image. And then let's give this image URL filter. And we'll say that we want just a master. And then we'll fill out the alt a little bit later. And then just down here, we can create another div with the class name of image with text description container. And then we'll create an H2 with the class name of heading. And then we'll output section dot settings dot title and we can give the id of our section types to be the same as in different files and it doesn't conflict so you don't need to create a unique id for this the scope for the id is only inside of this file and also any snippet that you might want to put in here as well so similar id names will not conflict within different sections and then we can create another div with the class name of image with text body and we can just output section dot settings dot text and that's it for our html and then we'll create schema tags and then inside of the schema tags we'll need a name and then we'll call this image with text and we need settings just like the last time this can be an array. And inside of here, we'll need an object and we'll create this object type to be image picker. And if you reference to the lecture that we had in section three, you can reference all of these different types. I'm also going to attach the reference to this lecture as well, in case you need to look up some different content types. And now we need to give it an ID. And the ID, we already named it to be image. So pretty simple there. And then we'll create a label as well. And this label will be image. So let's just copy paste this a few more times. And then we'll change this type to be text. And this will be title. And then we can give it a label of a heading. And then for the default value, well, we can just say image with text. And then for the next content type, we can change it to rich text. And this will be text. And then we can change the label to be description. And then we'll need to add a default as well. We don't need to add a default. It's not required but i think it's a good idea to add it just so that when you add a new section you can start working with it right away and you can see how it looks and this needs to be a p tag and we can say write your description here and then for the last one we'll create a checkbox and the checkbox will allow us to actually reverse the image so we can say id reverse and the label will say reverse image position by default we'll say that it will be false okay perfect so now let's create a preset and our preset will be an array as well and we need an object inside and we'll give it a name value and this will be image with text 
and the category will be image. And again, we need this presets value because this will allow our section to appear on the home screen customizer select selector. Perfect. So now let's actually use this reverse checkbox. So what we can say here is at the very top, we can add a conditional statement inside of our class. And so inside of here, we can say if section.settings.reverse is true, then we'll give it a class name of reverse. And then we can write end if at the end there. And so now if this is true, then it's going to add a class name of reverse. And in the alt, let's just display the section that settings that title here. All right, perfect. So we created that. But now it's saying that we have some error inside of our schema. So let's take a look. All oh, right, because I don't have commas after each of these objects. And that should be good now. All right, perfect. So now back inside of our application.scss, we can create a new comment. And inside of here, we can say image with text section. And then we can select the image with text class name. And inside of here, we can say display grid. And then inside of the display grid, we'll say grid template columns. And this will be one fraction and one fraction. And then inside of here, we can style the mobile right away. And we can say include include phone. And we can say grid template columns to be just one FR. Perfect. So now let's go down a little bit and we'll choose the reverse class name as well. So we can just say re dot reverse here. And we can say that the direction we want is to be from right to left. And this basically just reverses the direction of our grid template. Now, just down below, we can choose the image with text description container class name and this will be display flex and flex direction we can say column and then just below that we can justify content to be center and align items we'll say center as well because we want everything to be centered and then the padding will give it 25 pixels and the direction we always want it to be left to right. Because what's happening here is that it's changing the direction of everything from right to left, but we want to keep this one left to right always. So we'll just specify that here. And then the last one will be the body of the text. So we'll say image with text body, and we'll say width 75%. And margin will be zero and auto. And then padding top from the title, we want it to be 50 pixels. Okay, perfect. So let's go back inside of our customizer for our new theme. And inside of the sections, we see a new section appeared. So under the image category, now we have hero image and image with text. So basically, in the presets, when we created the image category, it groups all of the items with the same category together. So all of the sections with the category of image get grouped under one. And let's go ahead and add that. And as we can see, there is this kind of a placeholder image. And then we have our default for the title and the description. So let's go ahead and grab the title and the description. And we can just grab those ones here. And I'll add this as well. 
And then let's select the image. And perfect. So now we can add another section of the same type. But when we click on reverse, It doesn't actually reverse it. And I believe because I made a mistake and in the application at SCSS, this reverse class should just be on its own since it's not inside of the image with text. And we can actually just copy this to be more specific and say image with text dot reverse. And now if we refresh this here, it should be working now. Perfect. So now if we click on reverse, then the image kind of jumps to the other side. So let's select the right image for this one. And I believe it was this image right here. And then we can grab the text as well and say UGS. And the description will be from the other side as well. Okay, perfect. So we filled this out. And now we have two sections, but we only had to code one, which is really nice. So we're pretty much done with these sections. Because we can just add another banner section here, and then we can add another rich text section underneath here. But then in the next lecture, we're going to actually take a look at blocks because blocks is a very important part of Shopify sections. And it allows you to basically have this kind of a structure inside of a section as well, where you can add an unlimited amount of blocks pretty much to a particular section. So let's jump into the next lecture and we'll take a look at blocks. I'll see you there.